Hey, it's Kendra and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to do a quick little paint with me video. Recently I've really been loving painting um, on these square canvases that I bought in like bulk a couple years ago um, and then doing some embroidered art on top of it. I think it's really cool and gives it like a 3D effect that I really love. Uh, so today I'm going to be painting a bike in front of a sunset. I have a ferris wheel that I'm going to be putting this next to and so I kind of matched up the colors um, with that one so that's why I went with a sunset theme. Um, so here I'm just using my janky cardboard wrapped in plastic wrap because I don't know where my um, paint easel, I cannot remember that word where my paint plate is um so i just wrapped cardboard in plastic wrap and taped the plastic wrap to the cardboard and it worked really great so if you're ever in a quick bind and don't have anything to put your paint on um that's a great hack And my Ferris wheel painting has muted colors, so I wanted to stick with kind of the same theme for this one. So just lighter blues, pinks, even a little bit of yellow, some slight oranges, um, and later on a muted green for the grass. And I'm just using some acrylic um, craft paint here for this. And it blends out pretty well, although I wish I had some better paint that blended easier than this one because I had to really work at that. Um, but in the end, it turned out fine. And before I started to embroider the bike on, I did let this sit for probably an hour. Um, it didn't take too long to dry, but I wanted to be very sure that the paint was dry. And unfortunately, my camera battery did die when I was doing the body of the bike, um, but it's really pretty simple. It's just like embroidering on fabric, just a little bit harder with the canvas. Um, but I found that if you go slow and you don't do the holes too close to each other, the canvas holds up just fine. Um, so it was a lot of just me doing this over and over for the bike body. I did draw it out with pencil first and then um, followed those lines with my embroidery thread. Um, and it was actually pretty simple. I just was watching some shows, did this within a couple of nights um, and just kind of split it up a little bit. So here is the bike body finished and I did end up adding a little basket and here I'm just doing some floral details um, with some leaves and everything. I did show a lot of this just because it was more intricate details but really I just did this freehand. I didn't draw out the flowers first, um, I just did whatever I thought looked right. I did lots of colors, uh, mainly sticking with some purples and blues just to stick with a cooler tone since um, everything's pretty warm, especially with the orange bike. So yeah, this was really fun actually just adding in details. I ended up just putting some little dots here and there um, and yeah, you can see my dog playing in the background. That's what those little flashes of animals are. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was really fun and I loved adding in the flowers. I don't actually know how to do really great embroidered flowers, but they were small enough that you couldn't really tell. Um, and just adding in the dot details added a lot, I thought. And I did end up putting some of the flowers in the wheels just as if they're like falling out of the basket. Um, I thought that kind of created some cool motion. Um, and again, I just really love how the flowers are 3D and they pop out of the painting more than if I would have painted them. And here's how it turned out. I really love how it looks. Um, I did just pull up a couple of photos on Pinterest that I based off this. Um, so if you want to do this, I recommend just looking on Pinterest and seeing what's out there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!